now the first step is to skip the paradox launcher now for this uh, you can go to steam maker i click on the game select manage click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder at the top you will see the game location so you can copy this path now once you copy this path you can paste the path somewhere and then copy this this is provided in the video description copy this and then without any space you can paste over here and then here you can see this inverted comma so copy this inverted comma do not type in with the keyboard copy exactly this one this inverted comma and at the very beginning before the drive name you can just paste it so use only this inverted comma do not type it from the keyboard now you can copy this now and then you can go to steam maker right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can paste over here and then you can launch the game this will straight away uh, launch the game it will skip the launcher so i'm closing the game now and then you can check if that does not work uh, you can run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then scroll down over here you can see the game exe file make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work now if this is not working like if this is not working you can remove this and then you can straight away launch the game from the game installation folder make a double click launch the game still not working make a right click on the game exc file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work again go to properties this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browser apps go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open now click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename the save game files create a backup first all the save game progress will be lost when you rename the save game files so you can create a backup first you have to start everything from scratch so you can find um, the save game files let's check it where you can find the save game files paradox interactive open this folder I think this is where you can find the save game files this one you can even uh, check if there are any exe file in c drive users username app data if you don't see app data at the top click on use select show put a check on hidden items and then you can open app data and check if there is any there is not okay so go to documents open paradox interactive and you can 
create a backup. So you can copy this file the folder. You can paste it to the desktop. Now, once you have a backup created, now you can rename it. Make a right click and then click on rename. You can rename it .old. You have to start everything from scratch. You will lose all the save game progress. So you already have a backup anyway. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now to verify the game files, make a right click in the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to do not overclock. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default and close all the overclock implication. Like if you have MSI afterburner, revert tuner, any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game and then check. If you have any other overlay application, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. And if you have NVIDIA app or GeForce experience running, uh, you can open NVIDIA app and then you can go to settings over here and then you can turn off this NVIDIA overlay over here and then check. If you have any other overlay application, close it, then launch the game. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have MD card, go to MD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default, Express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next. And then you will see this screen. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users go to first of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your graphic card, install the latest graphic card driver, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next, we should run the game on dedicated graphic card. So type in graphics settings and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, you can scroll down, find the game in the list. Then click on the game over here and then over here you can see GPU pre preference, set it to high performance and then you can launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, install these Visual Studio files. So you will see x86 and x64 version. So install both the files. So download this x86 file. So click on this file. Now run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, you can close this and then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about 
and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB, so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update your bios in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game now the next step is to Unplug all the external devices. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, USB dongle connected, disconnected, disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of third party application or services running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game now after you uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel